It is the first major week of Major League Baseball, and there's a story emerging off the field. Top players being signed for hundreds of millions of dollars. Amna Nawaz takes a look. The latest deal? The Atlanta Braves announced it will pay star outfielder Ronald Acuna $100 million over eight years. This comes after a series of major deals, including the Los Angeles Angels signing outfielder Mike Trout to a contract making him the richest athlete in North America. It's a 12-year deal worth more than $425 million. Another big name, the Philadelphia Phillies deal with Bryce Harper, that for $330 million over 13 years. All told, just 10 players have gotten long-term deals over $2 billion since this winter. Let's try to understand what is going on here and what it means for the game. Jeff Passan is the author of the book, The Arm, Inside the Billion Dollar Mystery of the Most Valuable Commodity in Sports and a baseball columnist with ESPN. Jeff Passan, welcome to the News Hour. Please help me understand what is behind all these enormous numbers. Well, Amna, Major League Baseball is a really good business right now. It's making upward of $10 billion a year. And when you have that much money in the pockets of the owners, some of it needs to go back to the players. The question, though, is, is the right amount going back to the players? And the fact that four-plus billion dollars has been spent in long-term guaranteed contracts since November 1st still doesn't satisfy a large segment of players. Now, that sounds counterintuitive because... It's a ridiculous amount of money because you have athletes who are getting upward of a half billion dollar guaranteed contracts. But Major League Baseball is making such hand over fist money at this point that the percentage that's going to players is the important part. And when you have a system like Major League Baseball that does not have a salary cap like the NFL or like the NBA, there is no limit on what teams can spend and what they can give players. And the, the, the amount of money that has been going to the top end guys has been huge, but the erasure of the middle class has been the, the big storyline this offseason. Veteran players not getting contracts nearly what they did in the past, and it's leading to a lot of animus, really, between MLB and the Players Association. So these super big salary numbers we see for just a small number of players, what does that mean for all the other salaries? Those aren't rising similarly, right? Is it creating kind of an ultra-rich and everyone else in baseball? That's exactly right. You can call it a, a stars and scrubs sport because that's what it's turning into. Now, the way Major League Baseball salary structure works is this. Every team gets control of a player for six years. The first three years of that contract, they can pay him whatever they want. Usually it's around the major league minimum, which is $545,000. Uh, in years three through six, you go into the arbitration system where you ask for a number, the team offers another number, and you either settle somewhere in between or a panel of three arbitrators decides which of those salaries is correct. Then, after six full years in the major leagues, you get to hit free agency. And free agency, for a long time, was Valhalla for players. They would go out, teams would bid against one another, the contract prices would get driven up. Free agency, though, over the last three years in particular, has become something of a graveyard for players. And listen, it's weird saying that in a year where Bryce Harper got $330 million, where Manny Machado got $300 million, but those are the outliers. It's the players who are at the lower levels, who aren't quite the superstars, who aren't being paid what they once were. So Jeff, in very simple terms though, why is Mike Trout worth over $400 million? Well, I, I apologize for getting a little nerdy with you here, but <laughs> it's important to contextualize this. There is a metric in baseball that has been devised called wins above replacement. The idea is if you use just some random player who's at AAA and put him in the major leagues, how much better is every other player compared to him? And a win above replacement is worth around $8 million or so on the free agent market. Mike Trout is anywhere between an 8 to 10 win player on an annual basis. So we're talking about value that he's creating for the Los Angeles Angels worth anywhere from, you know, 65 to 80, upwards some years of $100 million. So a $425 million investment 
actually is seen throughout the industry as a bargain for the Angels, considering what Trout brings on a daily basis. So, Jeff, let me ask you this. Is baseball different? Because if you take a look at the NFL, all that big money, the salaries are still centered around the quarterbacks. How is baseball different than what we see there? Well, it goes back to the lack of a salary cap, Amna. And the, the salaries, accordingly, should be driven up significantly. But because they haven't been over the last few years, that's where the anger from the Players Association is toward MLB. Now, granted, I say the salaries haven't been driven up. We're still talking about millions of dollars, tens of millions, hundreds of millions in some cases. So the guys are getting paid. They're just not getting paid what they feel they should be getting paid. Jeff Passan of ESPN, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks. Appreciate it.